Hello, my friends. So I had a couple requests to go a little bit more in depth on my color drawers because I do reference them quite a lot. So I just have the all white and silver little component drawer system from Michaels and I got it when it was like 60% off like all crafting or all storage. So I'm going to bring the drawers over one by one and kind of show you what's in there but I just thought I'd show you what I had and they're kind of translucent. You know you can see through them enough except for like right there I just put a little black piece on there because I think oh the sticker or the backing it came off so I just popped it on but I can take it off anytime to go ahead and use it but now I'm gonna um, put my camera up on my tripod so I can take you through bit by bit and show you what is in there oh do you see that mess of a dresser behind there that was my baby dresser I use it for keepsakes now okay one minute I'll get it switched so over. at one point I started cleaning up around my craft room and I was trying to come up with a little bit better or of an organizational system. And what I kept finding was that I just had too much stuff in my bins, like way too much stuff. So, and I had color drawers years ago and I have no idea why I undid them. So I went ahead, I bought that, that unit that I showed you and I started breaking things down and I pretty much, there's only one color drawer that has two colors in it. Otherwise things, went pretty well. So I start with black, white, metallic, brown, which includes craft, blue, pink. I have a green one, a red one, a yellow and orange, I believe, and a purple, I believe. Okay. So the kind of things that are in here is, uh, you know, things pretty much that are for the most part black. So I have some great puffy pieces. I have this doodle bug little set here and it's for a wedding and I've used a couple pieces here and there like you can use stars and you can like there's a paint palette so some different things you can use on them some of this is a little whimsical for my taste but I do like some of the things on it so that needs to go in white right there it must have got stuck to something um I have these old Teresa Collins, like just little label pieces. So this is the kind of thing, if it looked basically black, or if I was down to just the black pieces in it, then I would go ahead and throw them in here. There's tags in here, more labels. I have chipboard pieces. Now this is black and gray. Um, if something is gray, it's in my black color drawer. So I guess that is a mix as well. So as you see, there is a big old, oh, look at the cute little envelope, a big old mix. I have epoxy in here, puffy goodies, the clear stickers here by Dear Lizzie. I mean, there is a treasure trove of goodies in here. So, you know, I was thinking about this and there is a lot of interest. Oh, that has some navy. I wonder if that's supposed to be navy. Let me see. No, it says black. Um... There was a lot of interest when I was talking about my color drawers. So what I was thinking about doing is a much stronger emphasis on my color drawers. And uh, that's really, really cool, by the way. That was a Target dollar spot washi, and it's like um, acetate. So these are the kind of things that are in my black color drawer. But I was thinking about making it a much stronger emphasis to try to get some traction and use some of these goodies up because I am a lucky girl. I've been scrapbooking since 96 and I literally have some supplies. I'm gonna get the white drawer next. I have some supplies that are of that era and you know, and I've bought near identical ones and I'm trying to get this drawer back in while I talk to you. Um, so my white, funny enough, I don't have as much in the white. So we saw my little acetate fella here. There, is that easier? There we go. That's good for like if you're doing a challenge and you need like, like an acetate or a mandala piece. But look at how great some of these items are in here. And now I'm using them more than if they were just in the bins of like all puffies or all acetate or whatever. But I need to be 
so much more. Um, and I put one of them in white as well of these. I know that you saw one in black. I need to be so much more aware of what is in these and to really start enjoying using them. So I think anytime I do a big concentration on the color drawers, I'll go ahead and put like such and such kit using color drawers so that you can get a good idea. Like, look at this super cool acrylic piece. It says kind. Um, these are, I mean, I love this kind of stuff. I love epoxy pieces. This has a tiny bit of this really great white ribbon in here. I've got some lace trim. These are funny. They're like a hand-me-down. Let me see if I put it up against blue. They look like little water droplets. So, I mean, that would be a great thing to have on a beach page or a pool page. So, that's the kind of stuff, like, this looks like, was this Amy Tan? Like, at one point, I was down to, like, scraps in her collection. So, I just separated them out by colors with the hope that I would use them. I recently had a challenge where I needed to use buttons. And I didn't think, I found four buttons for it, but I didn't know that there was any in here. And look at this. He doesn't belong in there. I bet each time I go through a drawer, I will find somebody or, you know what? I need to put this white thread. This is so fun because I'm finding things with my black and white embroidery floss. I keep that in a Lazy Susan on my uh, desk right over there. My I, An embroidery needle and black and white thread because so often there'll be some kind of a challenge. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna get another color drawer. Um, yeah, so I use that stuff a lot. Now, my metallic color drawer. Oh, see this? I didn't get the white one put in there. My metallic color drawer is packed. And I, you know, my metallic is silver metallic, gold metallic, whatever. So I've got all kinds of things. I mean, look at these little star pearls in here. I've got these. I loved these. The My Mind's Eye acrylic shapes with this nice little gold. You see how many of these I had? I think I got them when they were like 40 cents a pack. So I put one in metallic as well. These are Studio Calico, I believe. I've got washi. These beautiful butterflies. This is the uh, pink paisley, the little mirrored shapes in that color. Heidi Swap goodies. So as you see, I am a very spoiled scrapper. These are hand-me-downs. I'm gonna, I'd love to try to use them. I think I can use the stars, I'm not sure. These are old creative memories. Heidi Swap, little acetate words. Heidi Swap, puffy. I mean, they're puffy shapes, but not like uber puffy. So just so many cool things that are in here. Pink Fresh, you know Pink Fresh can give you a ton of goodies. We have Freckle Fawn, both of these are the same thing. The DIY shop, that is a gorgeous amount of stars in there. More freckle fawn. These are hand-me-downs, just cute little banners, not a big deal. So what I am thinking is to make a much, much bigger uh, push towards using this. These are hand-me-downs from somebody. They're 97 cents and who knows if they're even cheaper, but it's kind of like a copper foiling. It's going to be hard to use them up. Yikes. Anywho, I mean, look at these gorgeous bows. They're from Tuesday morning, and it was like a discount on top of that. More bows. Great epoxy pieces. More washi than you will ever need is in here. You, you know, these Dear Lizzie uh, ticket shapes that are... There we go. That, that's the way you can see what they are. I love navy. So they're navy and kind of a rosy gold as well. This giant honkin' thing, I got it on clearance and I haven't even used it, probably because before I open this tube, I would want to use some of these. Rose gold, silver, regular gold, so all the metallics are hanging out in here. All of these pieces are from a Heidi Swap set that I got from Tuesday morning. All these little random pieces, but they're fabulous because you can randomly just add a little star on something. So like this set of like sticker washi stuff, I will put, once I use the gold, I'll put these in black. Like there wasn't a huge rhyme or reason, just some star trim, into when I chose 
or you know when I chose to put things into one bin or another it was really just what made sense at that time make a decision and get your stuff put away all right so that's my metallic bin now I have things to put away into two other bins and so Martha you are wondering like in in depth like more of the kind of things I have in here so like if I saw um something like this that had all gold, I'll put it into the gold bin. Like the multicolor stuff that I have is not, they are not in my color bin. I have a place for multicolor washi. Um, and I tried to do like, like a die cut book with multicolor. That's not working out. I never look at it. All right. So this is my brown or brown and craft. So I, this like Baker's one is actually from a bakery. I, and then I have this really nice, um, it's, it's really great. It's like burlap-y and it's from Target Dollar Spot. Just some brown ribbon, burlap tags. I've got chipboard shapes. These look like, are they all bugs? I don't know, but all kinds of that kind of stuff. These are dollar store labels, more of the chipboard pieces. So it's just, yeah, the craft stuff. And I put these in brown. I never loved that collection, but I was like, all right, that's my best bet is if that was in there, even though it does appear to be multicolor. I've got Tim Holtz whole, whole set there, which I haven't opened. I've used a nice amount of this adhesive fabric trim. So these are the kind of things that are in here. Now, this is one of these things. Does that go to red? Does that go to brown? It's an iffy piece. I think that was freckled fawn. These are could go metallic or they could go in brown. I chose to put them in brown because if I have a challenge that says grab cork, I would think of cork to be in the brown area. So not as much in this one. These are very cool. I have no idea where they came from. These are like these little canvas cutout shapes and they roll right up from the fabric backing. So yeah, that, that would take a lot of adhesive to make those cooperate. We'll see if they ever do. All right, let me get my blue bin next. Now, when I do the blue bins, I don't have a separate one for aqua and turquoise and navy. My blue is with my blue because I could have 50 shades, as it were, of blue. So in here, let's see what goodies are in here. There was so much illustrated faith at Tuesday morning at one point, and I did get a lot, but I love blue tones. Like, like, look at how gorgeous these pieces are. At one point, I had made a kit with a bunch of blue pieces. Didn't use them, so I just threw them back in on the wax paper. That looks like Amy Tan. Amy Tan. That looks like jelly bean soup. Random cute little cow. Hmm. Cute. I've got this great set of stars. I, I have these stars in so many different color sets. So there's just random die cuts. This needs to go into gray. See, I keep finding something. These are from Heidi Swap, this collection she had. And yep, those pop out. I used some of these on something recently. So acetate pieces. These are just the leftovers from a sticker sheet. You know, like when you have like three pieces left, if it's a solid, I will put them in here. This is gorgeous. It's glitter tape. Very, very mermaid looking gigantic wide tape that came in a warehouse box a few years ago from hip kit now these were a hand-me-down if these don't get used up all in one layout this summer they've got to go because yeah they're just not my thing look yet more stars adorable little envelope look at it and it has a little pop-up it's so cute so yeah i have bits and pieces of so many things like those are mostly blue, and I'll go ahead, after I use those, I'll pop the black in. This whole set of Love and Lemon brads that are in blue shades. Beyond gorgeous. Those are so pretty. Now, I bought this, and I know it's for a baby line, and I have, I have no baby anything to scrapbook. I did have baby dog stuff to do for a while, but, but when I look at this, I don't look at this and say, Oh, it's from a baby line. I can't have it. So, you know, I, for me, it's like, 
my sweet boy for my dog or baby it's cold outside or you know that kind of thing so I could build titles just fine and I liked that I didn't see any glitter fallout so yeah I know probably too much detail so I've got more illustrated faith I have these beads from the dollar store now I could put these with my um pearls and all that but they're just so big I haven't done so now this is huge there's six sheets of these and this is one of those did I why did I buy these I have no idea hopefully I will start using them uh, six sheets that repeat all kinds of blue tones I chose to put these into blue instead of white because I figure you can use the white at any time blue is a little trickier those were a hand-me-down so hopefully if I don't if I use them I do this year and if not they're gonna go into the giveaway pile this is like this really cool little envelope -y thing. I don't know what to do with it, but it's cool. Brand new package of Heidi Swap stickers. I mean, these are from an old collection. It's 2013. Very cool. I'm sure they're at Tuesday morning. Dollar Store flowers. Heidi Swap little bows. So truly, like if you can think of something, it is in here. Like look at how cool that is. Those, yeah, it's, I think those are Chamel. I've got chipboard pieces, tags, that's washi, just like a little piece of washi, big giant die cut pieces. So when I do go ahead to make kits, and I'm going to be concentrating really hard going forward on my kits, um, when I need to pick a few different colors for them, I'm going to my color drawers. So these are wood pieces, I think these were freckle foam, but I'm not sure. So that's my blue drawer, plenty of treasures. And you know, it's kind of cool that um, by going through here, thank you for you guys that asked me to go through them. I'm getting a refresher on what is even in here. So that is fantastic. That's helpful for me. And yes, okay. I know I'm fading off when I come over here to put my drawers away, but I figure, you know, you can hear me probably well enough. I tend to be a little bit loud. So here's my pink one. And once again, I don't separate out with all these different colors of pink. I mean, this was from Secret Not Secret Advent Calendar. Heidi Swap, very, very bold, um, beyond magenta color frame. It's kind of chipboard. Well, it's not quite hard stock chipboard. I don't know. It's sturdy. Got these little tips. I've never known really what to do with these. These are hand-me-downs. That would be great to do a little Valentine thing. Here's another one of those little envelope dealios. Gorgeous Heidi Swap embellishments. These are um, like velvety felt something, but it's clear acetate with this gorgeous pink. I really like that. These are beautiful. Um, I know I had the boy version. I feel like I have alphas in that. Now this one's tricky. These were from, gosh, these were from something weird. Like from like, somebody gave them to me. Like they were maybe in like a calendar set or something like that. And I'm like, yeah, I'll try them. So I put a little clip there so that they stay together. Sometimes when, when things move around too much, they start to come off. More Heidi Swap. Okay, clearly I am obsessed with Heidi Swap products. I always have been. Those were in a kit that I didn't fully use. More Teresa Collins. Oh, look, acetate are jumping in there. More Teresa Collins little uh, label stickers. Acetate and acetate. Should this be the year of the acetate since clearly, look at that tag. I have so much acetate and I don't even use it that much. So clearly I need to use it. More gorgeous Love and Lemon brads. And you know, you might think when you look at these, oh, you should put them with your summer stuff because of this. But if I just put this in summer because of this brad right here, I'd miss out the rest of the year on using something that says like hello or just like a nice little plaid. Library pockets. These are beautiful. These word stickers in this really hot pink. Gorgeous Illustrated Faith Basics. More Illustrated Faith. I mean, you see that when uh, Tuesday morning got these, I attacked them and 
I attacked them and I needed them so badly and here they are new in the package. So hearts, these are a hand-me-down. So like I said, I'm going to try pretty hard to um, make my color drawers a really big part of my kits going forward. I have to build a kit for February next. So, um, so when I need pink, I could pull it just for like these pieces right here, for example, and this piece, it does not necessarily have to be a May thing. So that's kind of a cool idea. Little sticker pieces right here. These are hand-me-down pieces that it's one of those things. Once again, if I can't get them onto something at something at all, then I'm going to go ahead and have to let them go. Like I kept thinking I could use this one. The rest is really baby-like. Acetate. Tons of baby stuff, but I'd love to be able to just to use up the hearts. The rest, yeah, I can put into a, like a hand-me-down bin. I just found the paper packed to this yesterday when I was going through things. So it's very cool that I just went through like my collection packs and I know I can combine it with this. This does have a little bit of red. When my pinks are used up, I will go ahead and put this in reds. Heidi Swap Bows. Hand-me-downs from old Creative Memories stuff. And like that was from a Valentine collection. So is that. That's Vicki Booten. That was Maggie Holmes, I believe. More adorable stars. I bet I had these in a kit and I ended up not using them. There's washi, that, gosh, oh, glitz designs. That came in a glitz, um, these came in a glitz um, pack and look at how gigantic that was. And I got two sets of them. So yeah, I'm gonna have that for life. I have Rick Rack in here. This is gorgeous, has little hearts on it. So cute for a Valentine page. That was Amy Tan, I believe. So yeah, I have got some chipboard. That's Heidi Swap. Crate paper. This is a piece of washi right here that's mostly pink. That's crate paper. So as you see, oh, look at how beautiful this was. This was when the dollar spot or Bullseye's Playground was really a dollar and it's beautiful trim. I've got a little clipperoo. I've got, gosh, these are so vintage. These were like like late 90s scrapbooking stuff. So that's what I have in my pink bin. So I have hot pink, light pink, metallic pink, pink lips. Yeah, there's a lot. I mean, I think, what was, what was the most so far? My metallics maybe? Because I had, you know, the silver, rose gold, regular gold. Yeah, a lot. All right, so let me... We have four more drawers and you know, my, my drawer colors will get a little less popular as I go. So green color drawer. And the funny thing is lime green is one of my very favorite colors. So is that why I have the least or is there that little in scrapbooking? I don't know. So great puffy heart stickers. Like if Tuesday morning got the puffy hearts, puffy stars, whatever, I would buy them all over again and I would buy them the next time too. And the reason why is you can use a, a heart or a star on almost any layout. And if you have the right color, it looks so custom. La, la, la. Okay. Dollar spot twine, jute twine. Haven't used it. All kinds of washi. Cute little coupon that this could have gone green or aqua. Sometimes you got to kind of just go with the decision. Nice little clips. Chances are I will pop that piece out. I have a harder time using clips. Like I can use a little clip like this. I mean, that's adorable. That's Bella Boulevard, but I don't like the big honking ones as much. I don't know if that makes sense. Look at that cute little Starbucks cup. Not a Starbucks cup, but it's mimicking Starbucks. I made these along in a class that was taught by Scrappy Kathy. Chipboard pieces, chipboard pieces. I think this is Pink Fresh, Living My Best Life, which goes perfectly with this. Match it up with this and this. And you know what? That's St. Patrick's Day for me because I'd rather have a coffee than a drink. Great. This is like a nice mint color ribbon. Acetates, envelopes, adorable little envelopes. 
more of those library card kind of things. A package of bags, like treat bags. I have no idea what to do with those. All kinds of labels. This word says relax. This was a hand-me-down and it's very cool. I think it was supposed to be something beachy. Kind of cool. I think that's Amy Tan. That's Pink Fresh. You know, they're cute little bows that they had going. So as you see, look at this, a whole package of extremely lime green cards. Who did that? Was it um, Studio Calico had like warehouse little kits that were all green, then the red kit box and the blah, blah, blah. So I just ordered like my favorite colors. That's just a cut off piece of washi. And it looks like at some point I went ahead and oh, that got stuck and that got stuck. Yep, trim that little piece out and another piece that I had found. So this is one of those situations where this probably had a bunch of stickers and I just put the green with the green once I, see that's dark green, but now do I put it in the red drawer or do I put it in the green drawer? These questions we have, oh, that's another one of those butterflies from Kathy's class. So more washy, cute little puffy bits. And these are things that I've cut out along the way. These are just little stickers. That says May. So all kinds of bits and pieces. Um, yeah, that was on photo paper. That was kind of cool. A little rubber charm piece, puffy pieces. So that's what's in my green. Let me pop this and see. There's not that much in some of my drawers just because, like, really, I don't know. Do you think that there's less in that color or do I just use more of it? I mean, that's probably a good question. Okay, so for my red, at least I can get this little guy. I hope I didn't lose footage just now. My camera went funny. Okay, so I have a, this red tag that was in the wrong spot. I've got illustrated faith hearts, and these are the most beautiful cherry red. Oh, look, these go with these. More of that Studio Calico, like this was all from a red thing, dollar store. Nice metallic hearts, those look like Valentine's to me. As you see, I clearly loved these. This is one of those things, like before I had the color drawer, um, I would buy something and not realize I bought it, but then when you put it in the color drawer, you're like, aha, uh -huh, okay. And you find out a lot. So adorable illustrated faith pieces there. These are all from that Studio Calico thing. Washi tape, adorable, but are these not metallic? Like, ugh. I think these are Freckled Fawn, and they're fabric, and they're puffy. Some twine pieces, and like, I'll save pieces from bakery boxes too. This is a great piece of trim, and this was actually on um, a Halloween trim thing from Michael's made no sense to me, but when I bought it, it was dirt cheap. More washi, rubber charms, one little tiny puffy red piece. I figured I would much more likely use it if it was with this stuff because I could just add it into a cluster. Now these are purple and they're not allowed to be in here. I'm coming up to my purple drawer in a minute. All right, so that is my red bin, my red color drawer. So not as much, easier to look through. And I'm gonna pull my last two drawers at the same time. There's not all that much in there. Let's pull these two out. So this is the only one that I have separated, or I have two in one. I guess my metallic ones are two in one as well. So I have orange and yellow. So great illustrated faith pieces, more of this acetate. These that I have not used yet, it was a pack of three for 99 cents. They're called scrapbook nails, kind of cool. I've got chipboard, a little puffy piece by Chamel. Look at these tiny words, all in yellow. I think those were freckled fawn. Illustrated faith. Now, I don't really care for this stuff. I can't remember where it came from, but it's super stiff. I don't like the stiff nature of it. I don't know. I have to either like give it away or get over it. I've got washi. That 
is lime green. See, I, I keep finding things. I've got these great little enamel hearts right here in yellow. Some Amy, an Amy Tan tag, a sticker. I think that's pink brush. That's Heidi Swap. That's Vicki Booten. So yes, it is a Amy Tan. A mix, a mix, a mix, a mix in here as well, but not as much. That I have to put in the brown. Remember that frame? I think it's a frame. All right, so this is kind of good. It's showing me some things. Now for my orange, I'm gonna, now orange and coral I have in the same bin as well. You can put coral with pink. I put it with orange. Acetate, I have a tag. This great coral washi. Coral, coral, bricky red, I don't know. Frame or brick orange. I've got all of these great pieces. These are Heidi Swap pieces. You guys remember these from American Crafts. Uh, Illustrated Faith, of course. These were from a hand-me-down from somebody and I chose to think of this as mostly orange. At some point, I might take out the purple pieces. Washi, those great Bella Boulevard hearts. Some beautiful trim. See, it was 25 cents. I've got, well, it's called ribbon, but it's really just like string. This great little envelope piece here. Oh, two little Heidi Swap old school. These were a hand-me-down. Um, photo corners. Amy Tan pieces. A little epoxy heart there. These were also from uh, Scrappy Kathy's class. And I punched them into butterfly shapes. And they're in here. I see two blue things that now have to go to the blue drawer. Do you see how awful I am about this? I know. It's pretty harsh. Okay. So that's my orange part. That's my yellow part. And once again, orange is orange and lime green. I mean, give me bright colors and I will use them. And I don't know why I have so little of certain colors. Now for my purple drawer, there is not much at all in here. And this is getting a big old glare. Well, I bet the moment I move this thing, yeah, there we go. So this is somewhat hideous. Hoping to be able to use a couple of the purple pieces, maybe a couple of the little hearts and that will get uh, recycled. I have a little Chamel, little shaker piece. These were the, more of those hand-me-downs that I told you that I got from somebody. This is the Studio Calico, all the different shades of purple. Um, they're, they're all different labels, but you can always put something else over that. Easy peasy. Look at acetate pieces are in here. Gorgeous washi is in here. All the washi that you could think of in a purple tones up front. I've got these nice little freckled fawn chipboard pieces. Now, if you wonder why I was going on a spending freeze, this is a really good explanation why. I mean, look at it. These are pink fresh. That's Heidi Swap right there. Studio Calico, all in purple. One little piece of twine that I could put on a tag. Yeah, more of the nice Chamel. So that is my purple drawer. Oh, these are just these little things that are supposed to go with the, um, the unit. So that was that for my color drawers. Now, see, when I go ahead and put this here, they look pink. I don't know. So that's my color drawers and a much longer explanation. I hope you like how I have them set up and you're going to see a lot more of them for 2020. All right. Goodbye, friends. I know it was really long. So thanks so much for sticking with me.